Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Taking a look at Toys R Us at Christmas time. This is the Toys R Us in Ikebukuro at Sunshine City. So walking in, right off the bat, we have some toys in front of the entrance and coming over, we have the crane game, which tends to be a little bit more of the little kids liking. Moving along, seeing a lot of stuff on the shelves a lot of things here we have a variety of christmas trees that you can buy here in japan they're pretty small and they're pretty bare um, most families don't even have a tree but you can see the selection that toys r us is carrying here we have some clothes these are for newborns or under one years old and we have a lot of Santa and snowman costumes. These are for both boys and girls. Basically goes up to about the age of two, maybe three. And these are just assorted gifts for kids. These are pre-made stockings in character designs. Here we have some more trees and over here we have some cards. Japanese Christmas cards are pretty unique. They're pretty different and uh, they're nice. So you can get an idea of what these Christmas trees are all about. They're pretty sad. Um, but they're about 5,000 yen, 4,000 yen, 6,000 yen in that typical range. So Christmas in Japan is very different than it is in the States and from Europe. It's um, it's basically celebrated on Christmas Eve as opposed to Christmas Day. Um, before we continue, if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video, I'd appreciate it. Here we have some ornaments and, and other things. Uh, but Christmas in Japan, um, people celebrate by eating Kentucky Fried Chicken and other fried chicken um, substitutes. And they'll have cake and they'll have champagne. And Christmas is celebrated for the most part on Christmas Eve. Um, most decorations in the city are taken down the christmas trees are taken down christmas morning like nine o'clock in the morning they're already taking things down which is just ridiculous so um in japan christmas is is different there isn't any or for the most part there isn't any kind of religious symbolism or affiliation with it and um, kids only get one gift from santa and that gift is normally placed at the bottom of their beds and often the kid will or your child will go to the toy store and pick out the gift he or she wants this is a very very different um, type of celebrating in Japan so anyway we have some Duplo things and some other Lego stuff here some of the stuff that they're pushing this is more of the um, the older kids stuff in terms of Lego some of the more intricate sets some Jurassic World Jurassic Park some Disney stuff some Star Wars some Spider-Man Stranger Things and here you have the classic Legos so moving along we are coming out of the Lego area and we're gonna move over to Checking out this dinosaur. We're going to move over to some of the area for younger kids. Um, so this is a lot of learning based games, um, some board games. Again, if you look, everything is fairly neatly stacked. It's not a mess like you see in the States. Here we have puzzles. Puzzles there in the front, in the front there, a little bit further over. And then on the left as well, and these are kind of school supplies. Different markers, crayons, stickers. More puzzles. These are the bigger kind for, for younger kids.
Now Japanese kids when they go to school they have to change their shoes and put on school shoes and these are school shoes that little kids will wear inside their their school their preschool their kindergarten even their elementary school. Here we have some school bags, some bento boxes over here on the left. Some cups, little kids have cups, those are the bento boxes. Um, some utensils, chopsticks, forks. Some plates, those are for home. Some water bottles down at the bottom, normally they're tea bottles. There's some notebooks. More puzzles. These are learning um, books. Here you have more water slash tea bottles for learning hiragana for the young kids and a bunch of dinosaur stuff. Some Play-Doh. The Jurassic Park, the Jurassic World stuff is almost always on, on sale on clearance during the holidays. I don't know how much they move here. Some more learning um, games, activities. These are good for kids. Some more animal um, toys. These are nano blocks. My kids like these. They're very messy. But you don't kill your foot when you step on them, which is nice. So this wasn't always here. This is a kind of a bigger area now uh, since the last time I was at Toys R Us. So Nanoblocks is reserving this space and, and trying to push their product. And for the most part, it looks good. Looks nice. Creativity is always good for kids. Moving ahead, we are getting into more play area, more toys for the kids. It's the end of the Lego area there, that end cap. We have Paw Patrol over here. A lot of stuff. And more of the bigger blocks um, in the vein of Duplo. Again, more creative stuff. Look at how neat those are. Kids haven't torn them to pot. It's good. I'll always appreciate that about Japan. Everything is orderly, clean. A lot of Thomas stuff over here. Thomas is still very popular here. As I say in other videos, <clears throat> train culture in Japan, specifically Tokyo, is huge. And so little kids like to have their own little trains and Bandai and, and Takara Tomi put out a lot of things like that for kids. Here's a Tomika fire station. Now over here this is um, this is more for you know, babies and toddlers so I'm not gonna really show that but I'll just give you a glimpse. There it is and then behind that straight forward that's Babies Are Us. But we're not going to go in there. So the bicycles, some hula hoops on either side, and some uh, various frisbees and, and things like that. Trampolines, sandboxes. Some soccer balls. Tennis rackets, baseball, pogo sticks, <laughs> still a thing, some more bikes. These are the battery operated cars that kids can sit in, Here's some roller skates, some wheeled ones that you can attach to kids shoes.
The bike selection isn't so great, but, you know. So moving along, coming outside of there, here's some more scooters. And we are getting into the preteen boy area. There's that same fire station area that we saw earlier in the in the shop in the store. These are Shinkalion bullet trains, Shinkansen that turn into robots human drivers. My kids love them. Tomika cars. Pretty good selection. Again, most stuff is on sale or, you know, slightly discounted. And you have Dr. Yellow, Alpha X, more of the um, trains, the Yamanote line, and so on. These are the tracks, different ways of connecting them. Play sets for the Tomica cars. They have a food truck, which is hilarious. Remote controlled helicopters, which I always wanted when I was a kid. Never got one. These are some easy to assemble um, thematic cars, rescue, firefighters, police, that construction, that sort of thing. Getting into the imported ones, here's the Hot Wheels. Some uh, military toys. They don't sell G.I. Joe over here. Haven't seen them at all in, in the Toys R Us. Matchbox. I wonder why that is. Some Toy Story stuff. They sell Marvel Legends. Um, you know, they, they sell Black Series. Not as much as they used to, but they still do. I wonder why they haven't pushed uh, G.I. Joe over here in Japan. This is the extent of their Transformers section, which is pretty terrible. It's pretty pathetic. And a bunch of um, Godzilla stuff. You can see this. Pretty messy. Some little kid must have gone crazy over here. My kids are getting a few of these for Christmas. There were some new releases. Kimetsu no Yaiba stuff. Thankfully, my kids are not into Mass Rider or Common Rider. <clears throat> At least not yet. I've tried to get them into Star Wars. <laughs> None of them are. Only my youngest, who is only two years old, he's, he's somewhat into it a little bit. I'm heartbroken. More cars. These are Nerf guns. It's a pretty decent selection here. Again, if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, appreciate it. Helps with the channel's growth, helps with the video.
few model things. Now straight ahead, that's the girls section. Uh, I didn't go into that because pretty much everyone who watches my video is uh, is really not clamoring for that area. If if people wanted to see it, I'd film it. Um, I've never gotten any comments about the girls section, so I, I avoided it today. Here you have wrapping paper. You can see how expensive it is. You only get a couple little sheets on it. Wrapping paper in Japan is insane. You have some Spider-Man masks. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. $20.99. Here's the Ultraman stuff. And some of the figure arts mini of figures. Twenty percent off that Ultraman stuff. Not a bad, uh, not a bad deal. Everything is still overpriced in Japan. So, you know, you're not you're not saving a lot of money when everything's overpriced to begin with. And over here we have the small selection of games. Not much, not a lot to see. People waiting in line to check out. It's not too bad. They only usually have one or two registers open here. Some of the smaller, cheaper toys. Some snacks here on the left. And over here we have more snacks straight ahead. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, I appreciate it as always for you taking the time and watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. I hope you have a Merry Christmas with your friends and family and a happy and healthy new year. Take care.